Sister, where is your mother? You? Yes. Uh, we need to pray for your mom. You hear me? Mm. We need to pray for my mom. She's not fine. She's sick. It's true. And I want to tell you, you people, if anything happens to your parents, don't fight. Amen. Because I see, you know, the house in Tembisa. Yes. Huh? Yes. Don't fight for anything. You hear me? Amen. Let me say this again. If anything happens to your parents, don't fight for anything. Amen. Because I see that trouble is coming. But I pray that Jesus must bring peace to all of you. Amen. You hear me? Amen. So let's pray that Mama must be healed. Amen. There must be order in the family. Amen. You hear me? Amen. So now she must not die now because at this moment, you people, you are not together. Amen. There's a lot of divisions. Yes. So I'm praying that this woman must be healed now. Amen. As I'm speaking in Jesus' name. Because I see a house in Tembisa, but if something wrong happens to the parents, the, kids, the children, why do you have to fight for things that work for your, for your own? Work for your own. In Jesus' name, come out, you demon of division. Out! Come out, you demon! Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. Ima Gananisa. And with me here today is my sister, who was located during the service by Prophet Andres, who ministered upon her life. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Mpam Kuman from Tembisa. Today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and he spoke to you. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yes, yes, it's true. He, told, he said to me, um, Where's my mother? I said she's at home. She, he said, she's, all, she's sick. I said, Yes, because she always complaining. And she went to, recently, she went to the doctor. Yes, yeah, yes, I can confirm that she's sick. And he told me, He told me that we all, uh, he said that we are not united, like as we're children. Yes, it's true. Because we have some quarrels and sisters. He's, he said that we must not fight over the house because it's, 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 if, if something happened to our parents. So yes, I confirm it because always, especially the, young, the, the one who's following me, she's stubborn, yes. She's so stubborn. So yes, the prophecy is true. I can confirm it. And how do you feel that today Prophet Andres located you and ministered upon your life and even declared that Mama is going to be healed and even guided you guys on what to do should anything happen to your parents? I'm feeling happy that uh, God has located me and shown me the right way to live, to guide us through our lives. We are not alone. We need God advice in everything that we do we need God to, to lead us, to correct us when we go wrong I thank God for everything you, you need to pray that there's a problem at night you hear me? Yes. you are being attacked you know, you need to pray, there's a woman that is trying to sleep with you Yes. Huh? It's true. and this woman every time you wake up you find yourself wet today Yes, it's no? true. It's true. This is blocking you that you must never succeed in your life. You know, because if you check, every time you get a job, there's a problem. So now, right now, I'll pray for you. God will bless you. Amen. You hear me? Amen. This word dreams, they will stop. Amen. Come here. There's also a lady here. Uh, one time you, s you are sleeping, you wake up, you find yourself that you have, uh, I mean, at your age, you wet the bed at your age come here I pray for you don't be ashamed you wake up you find the bed is wet come here don't be afraid we pray for you what I'm looking for is this one come here 
you you find your the bad way today. Yeah, that's huh? true. Yes. And you are questioning how. Yeah. At your age. Yeah. Today I want to pray for you. You cannot bad at this age. It's a problem. This is to show you that there's a spirit that is not happy with you. I want to tell you Jesus loves you. And whoever that is doing this, I want to reverse this case. If a witch is eight years, seven years, they must start to bed wet from today. Amen. You know, it is nice when you curse other people, but it will be bad when we reverse that curse to you. I can't hear you. Amen. Amen. Can I say that again? It is nice when you do what? You curse other people. It won't be nice when we, we say, let it go back to the sender. It will be heavy for you. In Jesus' name. Come on. Come on. Come on, you demon. Imagine bed waiting when you are eight years. Huh? It's coming to you. It will come. Look here. Come on, you demon, come on. Brother, you're free. You're also free, mama. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Who are you? I'm Priscilla Chachaba from ZB Limpopo, but now I'm here in Tembisa. Today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and his book upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. He talked about the, I, I used to feel like, when I'm asleep, I used to feel like I'm sleeping with a woman, and that is true. I used to feel myself worried when I wake up, and I don't know what is, what, what, the, what is the cause of that. Mm. And he even stated that whatever it is that you are facing when you are sleeping is bringing forth delay. Are you aware of this? Yes, because my life is stuck now. Yeah, I'm trying, but it's stuck. In which areas? What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get a job, uh, and I end up even going to school, back to school, yes. And how do you feel that today, Prophet Andres located you and ministered upon your life? Uh, I feel very good, because uh, I know I'm free, because he said it. Amen. Amen. Yes, Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Leonora, I come from Limpopo. Prophet Andres located you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, that I'm having attacks, and these attacks, uh, they come, I would say maybe in form of dreams or at night, and then in the morning I'll find that uh, I'm not myself as the way I slept. Like I'll find myself, it's either I'm wet or, so it means maybe the spirit that's attacking me at night in a sexual form. Yeah. And how long has this been happening, and how has it affected you? Um, it has affected me in a... Not in a good way because obviously it affects uh, my, my life spiritually and you know when I try to maybe have a relationship with obviously a, the opposite sex that those kind of attacks do attack, um, do you know cause a problem in those type of situations so I'm thankful to God for um, the, for the man of God to be able to locate me and give me the, the deliverance that I need because it has been quite a while uh, since having these problems. I would say a couple of years. There was just a time I was not aware but ever since I started coming to church now I'm aware that okay this is what is happening. You are ready? You, your feet, this leg. Come on you demon, come on! Come on. Leave that leg you demon! Who are you? Who are you? Even this lady, bring this lady here. This one. Come on! The spirit of the family. Come on! Come on, you demon! Come on! So, this lady, she's defeating all of you. Who are you? Who are you? Look at that. Look at this. Imagine you are married to this lady and you are scrawl like me. 
to push you to, to the counter of the kitchen. Who are you? Huh? Who are you? Huh? Who are you? Speak. I won't you, I won't leave you. You, I won't leave you. I won't leave you. Come on. Who are you? What are you doing here? Huh? Why do you follow her even here in the church? Huh? You don't want to talk. You don't, you don't want to talk. Huh? You don't want to talk. Who are you? Who are you? Huh? She's free. She's free. Are you a prophet? Huh? Sorry. Are you a prophet? I'm not aware of that. No, no, no I'm asking you. Say no. I can't. Huh? Um. You say what? Just hey. bring it okay. <laughs> bring it. Look here. Are you a prophet? Jesus. Huh? In the name of Sak. Hey. Jesus. Le leave her. Leave her. She'll stand. Jesus. Jesus. Look at Mama. Some people they say we buy people. Yeah? Lift her up. <clears throat> Mama, come. Yes. Come. Are, are you a prophet? No. Huh? No. Why do you say no? I don't know. You don't know? Yes. You don't know what is happening to you? Sorry. You don't know what is happening to you? I'm so confused. Why are you confused? <sighs> huh? <sighs> you know there's a spirit on you, you know that, isn't it? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. So what spirit is that? <sighs> huh? Uh, I, I'm this kind of a person. Uh, listen, listen. I belittle myself. Mm. Why, why do you belittle yourself? I, I'm not even sure. Huh? I'm not sure. Jesus. So today, I want God to deliver you. You hear me? Amen. Because you, the dreams that you are heavy. Yes. You hear me? Yes. And, and some of them, you've got questions. Yes. True. You're asking yourself why these kind of dreams are coming to you. True, sir. Huh? True, sir. And sometimes there are dreams that are coming of individuals. 
True, sir. Sometimes I would dream of something and it comes to pass. So now, I want to tell you, you are being hunted by a spirit of a church you know, that we need to deliver you. You hear that? Yes, sir. After we deliver you, you can be able to function nicely when we are with Christ. Amen. You are hearing that? Amen. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That's why, you know, when I look at you, mm. I see a bull. I see a cow. Mm. And this is a spirit of a bull. Mm. And I'm sure God will deliver you. Amen. You'll be free. Thank you, Jesus. Do you hear me? Thank you. Because you, there's no man that comes close to you. True, sir. No? That's true. Yes. Mm. So now... Today, God must deliver you from the spirit of a bull. Thank you, and Jesus. And you be free. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. She is free. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Aina Kwebo. I come from Clip River, uh, near Mayaton. Mm. Ma, today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. He, the man of God approached me and asked me if I'm a prophet. That one, I wasn't sure. But there are some things, strange things that are happening in my life of which they make, you, make me confused. Even like uh, some dreams, I have some dreams, uh, I could dream of something and I know this thing is for real. And if I keep quiet, I don't tell the person and the thing it happens. Or I just tell somebody else, then the thing will happen is I saw it in my dreams. So I never knew what was it. And sometimes when I meet people, I could tell, I could discern what kind of person is this one. Most of the times then I could not, I cannot tell the person because I just find, I just think maybe the person will say, who are you to tell me this thing? I thank God for locating me today. I thank God for the deliverance. This is what I was praying for, just to understand, for God to speak to me and show me direction. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my life.